Mu'ad ibn Jabal. Mu'ad ibn Jabal was one of those companions growing up in Medina when Islam started to spread across Arabian Peninsula. But when the Prophet ﷺ arrived in Medina, he is one of those who followed the Prophet around and he learned the legal judgments on Islam. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ said, the most knowledgeable of my ummah in matters of halal and haram is Mu'ad ibn Jabal. And one of the greatest of Mu'ad's contributions to the ummah of Muhammad ﷺ was that he was one of the group of six who collected the Quran during the life of the Prophet ﷺ. Sometime after the liberation of Mecca, when the Prophet ﷺ returned to Medina, a group of messengers came to the Prophet and, and said that people of Yemen have accepted Islam and they wanted some teachers to go to Yemen and to teach them uh, their religion. And this is when Mu'ad ibn Jabal was put in charge of this group who was going to lead uh, this group of, of teachers who are going to teach religion to the Yemenis. And before he left, the, the, the Prophet Islam asked him a series of questions. He first asked, according to what will you judge? That is when you get there, according to what will you judge? According to the book of God, replied Mu'ad. And if you find some nothing therein, according to the sunnah of the messenger of God, replied Mu'ad. And if you find nothing therein, then I will exert m myself. I will do ijtihad to form my own judgment. The Prophet was pleased with this reply and he said, Praise be to God who has guided the messenger of, of the Prophet to that which pleases the Prophet. And before he left, as he walked to, 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 to go through, through his journey, the Prophet Islam advised him this, Facilitate things for the people and do not make things difficult for them. Give the people good di tidings and do not repulse them. Finally, he said to him, O Mu'ad, Perhaps you shall not meet me again after this year. Perhaps when you return, you shall see only my mosque and my grave. Mu'ad wept. Those with him wept too. A feeling of sadness and desolation overtook him as he parted from his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu Alaikum.